long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A once virtuous chef was tempted by the pull of the dark side. Unable to resist his deepest urges, he turned against the Jedi and pledged allegiance to the evil empire. Now, a young Jedi chef named Luke Skycrocker has an opportunity to vanquish the deliciously evil Darth Bacon forever. The time has come for the ultimate showdown between the dark side and the light side. This is the May the Force be with you cook off. Hollywood Studios puts you at the center of the Star Wars galaxy. So inspired by this fantastical feast, there is a battle happening right here in our kitchen, representing the rebels, the virtuous Luke Skycrocker, and his apprentice, Princess Carla. And representing the evil empire, it's the dastardly and delicious Darth Bacon, and his apprentice, Clinty Wan Kenobi. All right, what dishes do you guys have planned to defeat your enemies? Michael. Luke, <laughs> the force is strong, Luke Skycracker. But is it strong enough to defeat my braised chicken mole? Well done, Bacon. Even the most delicious dish in the galaxy could not possibly... <laughs> it's hot out here, buddy. <laughs> could not possibly defeat my variation on Ajo Blanco that today I'm going to call Ajo Verde. <laughs> Yes, all right. So, I chose chicken mole because it is dark mm. and mysterious, oh. but oh, so fantastic. Oh. And I feel that it is a dish that teaches like Darth Vader did. So, what it does is it shows you how to develop flavors and textures and depth. I don't remember that part of the movie. I'll watch it again, kid. You'll be fine. <laughs> so, what we did is I took one whole chicken. I browned the chicken in a little bit of olive oil. To that, I have sliced up two onions thinly, and we're gonna add that to the fat that has been rendered from the chicken and the oil. And CK, you could actually put a little bit more fat in there. Yep. And then I'm gonna add four to five cloves of garlic, and this is a sauce that cooks for a little bit, and then we puree up. Mm -hmm. So we could leave the garlic cloves whole, so they go in, and now all the flavor that comes in there, Pumpkin seeds, cinnamon stick, almonds, sesame seeds, cumin, coriander, oregano oh. in the pot. How you feeling over there, CK? You feeling good? It smells like winning. Smells? It is so weird. It is so weird how mole smells like victory. All right, so to that, orange juice. Orange juice. We're going to take this tomato, and Clinton, if you could grate that right into the sauce. Grate the tomato. And then in here, we have the dark mysteriousness of the dark side. Mole, raisins, fried tortillas, cooked in a little bit of stock, and pureed. And that goes in. Oh, wow. Along with a little bit of chicken stock, I'm going to return the chicken back. It's going to slowly braise in that deep, oh. mysterious Wait, sauce. Wait, this is chipotle. No, ancho. <laughs> What is happening on the lighter side of Luke Skycrocker? As usual, the lighter side is a lot easier and a lot less store-bought looking. <laughs> we're making a... That well, what did we buy, a tomato? It. Well, where'd you get that store, that paste? We made it. I mean, it. If you were paying attention, what, I, no, Ancho, I, I actually raisin. was paying attention. You did not make Ancho, it. Ancho, raisin, out of the jar. You chicken made it. stock, it was in the jar. tortillas. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm making mine. I'm making a simple, light variation on gazpacho. Mm -hmm. Home in Andalusia. Bum, 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 bum. We take old bread. We soak it in ice water what? with almonds. What? It's easier to be light and correct. It's easier to be on this side. You don't have to remember the dark lies you've told it, everybody. We don't need to make fun of Mario. We're going to stand on how delicious our <laughs> dish is. So here's what we do. We take cucumbers. We take that soaked milk and almonds. Yes. All it in, all the water, everything in. Good, buddy. We take only two cloves of garlic, Ooh. because on this side of the on this side of the story, You're making too out. much garlic. You got to make out with people. <laughs> His dark, yes. angry side. Yes. We take some grapes, green grapes. We take a pinch of salt. We take sherry vinegar from Andalusia. Yes. We take some extra virgin olive oil. Yes. We pour it in like that. Mm. Carla. Put on the top. Yes, Duck what about our, our jalapenos? Jalapenos are for the garnish. Okay. Ready? Yes. And then? And then we just watch it mix up. 
Give this sauce a taste. Tell me what you think. The first word that came to my mouth, in my mind, I cannot say on TV. It is so freaking good. <laughs> it's so good, right? And Carla, how does the light side taste? Oh. Come on. Getting in here. Mm -hmm. Getting in there. Life of Fillin'. Oh. This is pulling me like a cool margarita from Abercrombie. You guys, I don't think we could decide the winner here. The IKEA oh tasting God. table has sampled both of your recipes, and they are ready to declare a winner. Oh. So help us, IKEA tasting table. Your only hope, Luke Skycrocker, Luke Skycrocker, Luke Skycrocker, Luke Skycrocker, <laughs> first to six is gonna be the winner. Luke Skycrocker! Oh, we're getting Don't fake it! Oh.